there we go so we got it to fit in more or less let's see here and there we have it Sure enough, we have it right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have to hold this in place for the time being, while we try to screw some of these things in place. This isn't. Uh, it's gonna take a few hands to actually do this, but uh, let's go ahead and start screwing some of these screws in, just to give us a footing. So I screw one down there. Screw one over here. Now these screws are the tapping screws. Okay. And there's one more on this side. All right, so there's three screws, and they are all screwed in. Remember, don't screw them too tight. But sure enough, once we screwed it in, yeah, we're seeing a lot of movement in here. So that's good. So as soon as I did that, it just now things that we're gonna have to go ahead and take. A, the oil they included and just kind of pour some of it over the gears. Now when you do that, give the gears a turn. Make sure everything gets nicely lubed up in there. Making sure to save some. Now what I'm doing is I'm actually just putting it on the on the bigger ones and uh, running it through. And that should coat all the inner gears. Sure enough, there's one piece and we're whoops, that's about to fall out. Remember there's one loose piece that's in there right now. Everything else should be pretty thick in there, so This looks like it's going to be my actual, most definitely. It's got a little play in there, but uh, I think that's acceptable. So that's one side. That took us a little bit longer than we wanted to, but it's okay. Now we're going to go ahead and do the same for the opposite side. So we're hoping that this, the opposite side is about the same, and sure enough, it does look like it is. So, let's go ahead and uh, we're actually going to go ahead and put one of these on now. So we're going to open the other bag and we're going to put one of these onto the hex shaft like we did before. Now if you notice we only have one hex shaft now. We don't have the other one because the other one it's actually the center part here and we're going to screw on another one of those uh, gear hubs onto it over here. So let's see, how's this going to go? So I'm assuming that we're going to have one, that's three, and that's two, and the ins okay, sure enough it's the same. So we're going to do the same as we did before. This time, it, actually it's a lot easier because now we're just kind of going however we need to go. And sure enough, yeah. Pretty straightforward. So this time we're going to screw this on and we're going to push down on that. So what we're doing here is we're mounting the other gear hub and we've just pushed down on that with our fingers and we give it a good turn. Make sure it's nice and tight. 
Sure enough, there it is. So now, both are connected. The only thing is, I think that we're gonna... You know what, let me give it a little wiggle room here because it looks a little too tight. Okay, so we've got those in place. That was definitely a lot easier. Now we're going to take back the other plastic piece that we had here. And I'm assuming that we're going to go ahead and plug in like so. And if that's the case, we're going to need three more of these guys. So where are these going to go on? Okay, so go one there. One in the center. Whoops. And looks like one goes here. Now, how is this going to go? So this is definitely going here. Let me just kind of analyze this. That's going to go in there. All right. Definitely need to have that in place. So we're going to put that in place there. going in place there, so that's three. And sure enough, there you have it. Went right in. And it's moving just as expected. Okay, it wasn't too hard actually. Uh, just had to think about it a little bit and determine where what goes where. Is that the right spot? No, that's the wrong screw. Need the longer ones, there they are. place and this spins around as expected. Let's go ahead and take a little more of this lube here. This oil. Looks like it's pretty thick so it just spins, you know, make sure it's, uh, it's around quite a bit. You want it to get in all those gears nice. So once you have this built it's going to be tough to get back in there. Oh yeah. I don't you can't you probably can't tell, but this moves a lot smoother now than it did before with all this uh, lubrication on there. That's really good. Okay. So that completes this portion. And we're good to go. Looks like that's about it. So we've completed building the gearbox for now. Let's see. Well, actually, no, let's backtrack because the next step here is that we're actually going to take these motors and mount them in. So step one into complete. Step three is on the back. Now there's two ways of building this. We built this with the uh, standard type AB speed instead of the uh, low speed, which they call type C according to this document. Now I'm basically just pushing in this gear that's going to sit on the motor. Okay. You can push it in with your finger or you can put it against your desk. Either one will do. Doesn't look like there's any given direction that is preferred because it both looks the same on both sides. Just give it a good push and you're good. Now those are going to go mounted. Internally, so we just flip this there, 
and that's going to snap in place. Now what I'm going to make sure to do is that I mount this correctly so that the wire connectors are sticking out in a way where I can easily get through them later. And what I'm going to do is they're going to be sticking to the outside. Notice how this is the top. Our connectors are here, and they're going to be outside. And that snaps right into place. And the other one does too. And we're done. We have now built the Tamaya gearbox.